SGM, Security Guard Management. First in management techniques and procedures for the contract security guard industry. I want you to imagine that you're just starting out your company. This is the, f you're getting ready to start next week and we're gonna put it all together. So, the first thing we wanna look about is where to locate. The best salesman out there is referral. Your best jobs are referral. I know that that's the way to bring in business. You're not going to, you know, if, if you do business for, one, you do a, a service for one company and they tell another company that you're doing a great job, that's the way it's going to be. Some legal issues to consider in writing a contract. Keep it simple, as far as uh, best you can. Make sure you have a paragraph in your contract that says the customer cannot alter the hours. This happens all the time. The customer will say, I want you for 168 hours. And three weeks later, now, you know, we don't need this guy at 4 o'clock anymore. We'll just, we'll just have the day work in the midnight. He can't alter the hours. Make that clear. Only eight or ten hour shifts. Don't take those four hour shifts. As a matter of fact, while I'm talking about it, I'll probably talk about it a little later. You want to stay away from cold starts as much as you can. Those of you, you're in the entertainment business, so it's a little different. But you stay away from a cold start. Cold start, the, the definition of a cold start is a post that starts without relieving another officer. In other words, it doesn't even start till four o'clock in the afternoon. This is going to let the security officer take home more money and you pay less money for payroll. Here's a program that will help you make some money and increase your quality. It's called the Certified Security Officer Program. You just don't give a guy a pay, rate, pay raise. You know, if you sell someone, after 90 days, you get a pay raise. What about the good guy? He got the same thing and the bad guy gets the same thing. Everybody gets the same thing. I don't think so. So we got this thing called a uh, certified security officer program. How about this? Schedule 32 hour shifts, not 42. Give everybody 32 hours, don't give them 40 hours. And every time the shift opens, you give them, give them 40 hours. If you know you got a lot of overtime anyway, ha start hiring people for 32 hours. You can't do it to the ones that already exist because they'll get you for unemployment for the other eight hours. So you hire them for 32 hours, and then you give them eight hours, and it's not overtime yet. How about hiring everybody for 48 hours? Uh-oh, a lot of silence there. Hire them for 48 hours. Figure out what your costs are, come up with a number, and now you hire them for 48 hours. What happens with call-offs then? When a guy calls off, no matter what day of the week it is, he's calling off overtime. 